Hey guys, this is an intro to Bespoke, some new music software I'm developing. Bespoke is a software DAW in the vein of Ableton Live, but instead of having a structure of tracks and racks, you're given an infinite canvas and you get to create your own structure and workflow. The idea is that by laying everything out in this simulated physical space, it'll be more intuitive to use and allow you to better customize your workflow. In this video, I'll give a brief overview of how to navigate in and use Bespoke. So when you first start up a spoke, you'll see this minimal boilerplate layout. It has a transport module, which controls all the timing information. A scale module, which controls the scale that certain modules play in. You can see right now we're in D minor. And a stereo splitter that goes to two outputs. These are your left and right speakers. Up at the top, you'll see a title bar up here, which has a palette of different types of modules you can put in. Uh, so let's put in the step sequencer. That's in the instruments category. So we'll go there and grab the note sequencer. So each of these modules can be moved around by clicking on the title bar uh, and dragging them around. They can also be minimized or maximized by clicking on the title, the, their name in the title bar. You also have an infinite canvas here. So if you hold the shift key and move your finger around the trackpad, you can scroll around and you can zoom in and out by using two fingers on the trackpad. So you can zoom in and really see this in detail, or you can zoom way out if you had a large patch and see everything that's going on. So these modules can also be patched together. So let's drag in a uh, FM synth uh, for this sequencer to talk to. So we can put the FM synth here, and then we can patch together by either clicking this checkbox here to enter repatch mode, or you can use the R key as a shortcut. So let's patch this step sequencer into the FM synth and the FM synth into the stereo splitter. And let's input some notes and enable the step sequencer. And then we can mess with the sound a bit. And you can see here that the uh, note information is traveling through the note patch cord and the audio information is traveling through the audio patch cord. So you can sort of follow a signal chain just by looking at it. So now that I've made this layout, I like it and I want to save it so it'll come back the next time I load up. So to do that, we can click the save layout up in the title bar and then we can quit, reopen, And here we are, back where we left off. So those are just the very basics of how to use Bespoke. Check out my other videos and documentation, and play around to learn how to create your own really cool setups. Thanks for watching.